I've been wanting to make an arched wall shelf for a while now and recently came up with an idea using cardboard and thought I'd give it a go. I've got so many cardboard boxes at home and I'm always looking for ways to use them and this turned out to be the perfect idea. The first thing I did was to create two matching semicircles out of cardboard. I used a very simple pencil and string method to do this and then I used a Stanley knife to cut them both out. Once I had the two semicircles, I used a Stanley knife to cut out the inside of one of them to create a frame. The frame is about two and a half centimeters or one inch wide. Once you're done, you should have two matching pieces of cardboard. One is a frame and one is like the backing of the frame. Then I cut a timber plank to match the size of the base of the semicircle. I also cut some little pieces of wood to use as splints around the edges of the frame. Next, it was time to assemble. The first thing I did was glued the plank to the base of the semicircle. I used my favorite Sally's hold up glue to do this, which is great because it's kind of like liquid nails, but easier to use. Then I took the other semicircle, the one that's the frame, and I glued that to the front. The next thing I did was I took those little wooden supports and glued them around the top of the arch. This was just to create a little bit more structure. I then added some tape to hold all that in place. Now it's time for more cardboard. I took some cardboard and kind of rolled it up so it was really flexible and started to apply that to the arch. I just used tape to tape that in place and I applied first a layer on the outside and then a layer on the inside of the arch to create a really seamless, nice shape. Because I used duct tape for this and the edges were a little bit messy, I decided to do a step of using paper mache and putting that all over the arch. First I added a layer of glue, then a layer of newspaper, and then I just did another layer of glue. You can probably skip this step if you think that your structure is nice and tidy, but I thought it created a really nice uniform base. Once I'd done that, I let it dry overnight so it dried really solid. It might seem like there's a lot of steps involved here, but it actually didn't take me very long. And I feel like because it's using materials that you probably already have at home, it's a pretty simple one to do. The final major step in this project is to plaster the whole shelf. I actually used a multi-joint compound, which is sort of like a mix between a glue and a plaster, and it worked so well. I just used a applicator to kind of paint the whole thing with this multi-joint compound. It's kind of like icing a cake. It's actually so, so satisfying to do this. And again, it didn't take long at all, maybe like 15 minutes to do the whole shelf. Once it was all done, I let it dry overnight. I noticed some tiny bits of cracking in some places when it dried, and so I just added another layer in those places and then sanded it down really well to give it a really smooth finish. When sanding, I made sure to focus on rounding out the edges so it had a really nice and uniform shape. To hang it, I just used a drill and some L brackets. I hung those on the wall first and then placed the shelf on top and screwed them in from the bottom. But never fear, if you're a renter or you just don't want to get out the drill, you can use some of those 3M Command picture hanging strips. I use three or four depending on the size of the shelf. You probably don't want to put too much weight on these ones, but a few trinkets or vases should be fine. And there you have it guys, I was really excited about this method and I love that it uses materials that you probably already have at home. I feel like there's a lot of possibilities with this technique and I'm pretty excited to start experimenting. Make sure to hit subscribe or follow for more and you can check out my Instagram where I share all of the things that people have made using this technique. As usual, I've created a little hashtag for this project and this time we're using not cardboard to share any projects with this technique.